How do y'all? I thought I'd do a quick vlog before I go to bed, but I've been doing some thinking um, about what makes up the ideal city. Um, what is the ideal form and design of a city? Um, and you know, I just did this reading. It's by um, Angel David Nieves, uh, and it's called The Interdisciplinary Approaches to a Socio-Spatial Race History. Um, so I was thinking about and this might be a hot take, but the ideal form of the city, um, when we're considering the race history, might be the multiple nuclei form. Um, now, the multiple nuclei, obviously, like a distinct specific nuclei, has to have a business district. Um, it has to have an economy that supports that nuclei. If we're going to have multiple nuclei, then those multiple nuclei need to have their own business districts to support that area. Because we're not having food deserts and things like that. But when we're thinking about the socio-spatial race history, a lot of what was going on was that these black communities needed space to set down roots to create identity. Um, they needed space that was theirs. When we look back to Seneca Village, um, which is where Central Park is, that was a space where black people coming right off the tail of uh, slavery in the United States was able to create a space that was theirs. Um, there is a point in the reading where it literally says that they had their own social, sacred, and political space, which is really cool. Um, it also talks about how in that article, um, the white people, especially like the mayor and the governor within New York at the time, um, were not really agreeing with that. But considering having your own space, it seems like the multiple nuclei model makes the most sense there. Um, in the Burgess article, he talked a little bit about um, having how mobility was the pulse of the city. Um, and it goes on in the Nieves article to talk about how passage on a streetcar line um, completely desegregated the city, it created a way for black people to traverse the city um, in places where they didn't necessarily feel safe before. Um, and I think that that's really cool. Um, so when I say like, yes, I think that the multiple nuclei model makes the most sense. I'm really saying, yes, I think that they should have a space that is theirs, um, a place where they can set down cultural ties and, um, heritage is in the land and they can, they can turn back to it in the future. Um, but I also think those spaces, those multiple nuclei have to be a part of something larger. Um, and they have to have the ability to traverse those different spaces. Mm -hmm.